Okay bestie, like you, I love watching these kinds of YouTube videos. But one thing I've realized is that a lot of these videos reintroduce the same popular websites like Forest or Notion, which are useful, but today we are going to focus on 12 unique websites that are useful for students and not just aesthetic. I've prepared a website for every concern that you might have, like if you hate math, if you need to organize your laptop, if you want to write notes with turbo speed from your textbook, if you like flashcards but hate making flashcards, if you need to cite things as a university student, like what the hell is APA 7? If you need to calculate your grades, and so much more. So all the websites will be linked down below and I do not earn a commission from any of these links. I just genuinely love these websites. So let's start. First, if you need to organize your laptop and a little hack for your assignments. If you're a student, you know how cluttered your laptop can get during assignment or exam season. So I'll show you guys how my laptop went from this mess to this organized system where I have separate categories that house the websites that I use for university, each of my subjects, work, and entertainment. Open up Identity and sign up for a free account. It's also available as a Chrome extension. Then create the categories for university, your subjects, work, entertainment, and social media. Now you can add all the websites that you use on a daily basis. Fill in your username and password and add the website to the category you want it to be in. Identity will automatically fill in your username and password when you click on a website, which is really convenient. You don't have to leave all your tabs open anymore, and this is much neater than the default favorites page. Like, what is that? <laughs> Quick tip, if you're doing an assignment or project, create a separate category for that. Link all the websites that you are using so that it's easier for you to do referencing or to look back at your resources if you need to. You can also create to-do lists at the side, set due dates, and link your websites for even more efficiency. Identity is completely free, so I'll just leave a link to their website in the description box below and you can check it out if you're interested. Next, if you hate math. So Wolfram Alpha is one of the most powerful and useful websites I've ever come across. You can literally type in any question you have from geography to chemistry, engineering, finance, art or the nutritional content in different things like apples because why wouldn't you need to know that my favorite feature however is that you can type in any math equations like this one and it'll give you the answers and graphs or you can type in equations for graphs to know how they look like spend a little bit of time exploring wolfram alpha because it can be an amazing tool to help you learn any topic math just became a lot easier for you. You're welcome. Next, if you like studying with people or your friends. Now, unless you are a gamer, you probably don't know what Discord is or how to use it in a way that benefits your studies. Discord is amazing if you like studying with your friends or even strangers. You can study together, discuss about assignments and homework, and have all your materials separated by topic. You can join my study Discord server with over 12,000 Faye Films family members, but more details on that later. One of you can create a Discord server and choose the study group template. After that, you invite your friends. I'm going to create separate channels for each of my subjects and one for links and assignments. So now you can study together while sending pictures of your homework and they're all organized by subject. You can also share screens or just vibe to music. Once you use Discord to study with your friends, you're never going back. I'll link my Discord server in the description box below where you can study and chat with other Faye Films family members. Right now, it's really late but one of you is streaming a Pomodoro timer while others are studying along. I'm so proud of you guys. Next, if you want to write notes with turbo speed from your textbook. So this app or program is called PDF Element and it has many features but I'm just going to talk about one today. 
So you take a picture of the page or pages you want to do notes on in your textbook. Then you import that image into PDF element in your laptop and change it to PDF format, then click on OCR text recognition. Now you can edit the text directly in your textbook and it will also match the font. This saves you so much time, I use it a lot when studying law because you can just summarize this entire chunk of text into short points or copy and paste text from PDF files quickly into your notes. I've recommended PDF Element before and I'll continue to do so because it's just so cool. Next, if you're too tired to read and need to focus. An advertisement might play in the next few seconds, so if you want to support this channel, please do not skip the ads. Thank you! So I take business law as an extra subject and there's just too much to read. My brain gets fried every single time. So if you also get tired after writing essays or reading articles, then download the Read Aloud Chrome extension. You can basically highlight any text, then right click for it to be read out loud. All pomegranate peel extracts. Click the extension on the top right to pick the specific sections and read it in a pleasing font. You can also click options in the top right corner which allows you to change the speed, pitch, volume and text highlighting. I like to copy and paste my finished essays into Google Docs and have the robot read it to me out loud. I think it's just so much easier to spot your mistakes when someone else reads it to you. Next, if you like using flashcards. I think everyone knows how annoying it is to make flashcards because they just take so long to make. So I prefer using a website and I use Study Smarter. You create an account, then upload your lecture slides or notes. You can write your questions and multiple choice answers like this. Or you can also create flashcards really easily. I think it's such a simple and easy way to revise for those of you who are visual learners and like using flashcards. Next, if you need to cite things. Even if you are a secondary school student, bookmark these two websites right now. In university, you're going to have to credit all the resources that you use for your assignments. These are called citations. There are different ways to cite resources and it depends on your subject or university, so it's really confusing and it's a pain to do. So Cite This For Me and Scribber are two websites you can use to help you cite things quickly. I prefer Scribber, you just pick the citation style that you want, enter the website, journal or book, then it'll cite it for you. Just click to copy the in-text citation or select and copy everything to paste in your reference list. You're welcome. <laughs> Next, if you need to proofread your writing quickly. This website is overly sponsored, so I understand why some of you might be put off trying it, but Grammarly is really useful. <laughs> Copy and paste your email, your essays, or anything really into Grammarly and it'll help you correct your punctuation, your sentence structure, basically help you improve your writing with just a few clicks. I've been using it for a few years now and it's helped me a lot. It'll also help you calculate speaking time for presentations and correct your writing according to the goals that you set. So don't let the fact that it's overly sponsored deter you from trying Grammarly out. Next, if you need to calculate your grades. Just a quick one, if you want to know how much you need to score in your next exam to get the final results that you want, go to Final Grade Calculator. This is important so that you know which subjects to prioritize. Next, if you want to remember and recap topics quickly. I've said this before in my basic study tips you should leave in 2021 video that you can check out here, but mind maps don't work for me when I use it as a note-taking method. However, mind maps are incredibly effective at helping you outline a topic before you study it or recap a topic after you're done studying it. A lot of mind mapping websites require you to pay, so I prefer using Testcade because it also has a lot of other features. So after you study a topic, add a new project, write the topic, add a few blocks, then write the subtopics. Dump everything that you know in the bullet points. Or if you prefer, go to the mind map view and build your mind map there. This is such an easy way to check your understanding of a topic. 
If you're someone that forgets everything after you've studied a topic, then this exercise is essential for you as it helps you link different concepts together so that it doesn't get too overwhelming. Next, if you want to be aesthetic and productive. First, my favorite is Virtual Cottage. You download the game from Steam into your laptop. It's the cutest thing ever, okay? You set your task and how long you want to focus on it for. Then relaxing music will play in the background. You can set rain sounds, snow, wind, or fireplace sounds. Have a dog or cat lie beside you. And there's a cute little to-do list at the side. Such a beautiful aesthetic and super useful as well. Second, you know how studying in libraries can feel super intimidating and suffocating? That's when I use I Miss My Cafe. You can control different noises and this is surprisingly effective at helping me stay productive because it emulates the vibe of a cafe which we all know and love. If you've made it this far, comment down below what is your favorite website to use as a student? Is it Google Docs? Is it Grammarly? Notion? Let me know down below. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so that you do not miss out on any future uploads. Thank you Identity for sponsoring this video and thank you you guys for 438,000 subscribers. And I see you all in my next video or on my Instagram. Follow me there. Bye!